Good afternoon, everybody. Once again, I would like you to uh, I would like to welcome you to uh, this time the third workshop of the Medical Research, Research Volunteer Program on RBP. Today's workshop is entitled "And Not the Reference Manager" and will be delivered by Dr. Sama Al Tabba. Okay, is that correct? Dr. Sama holds a BS in Medical Technology from AUB the farm dean in clinical ph pharmacy and an MBA in business management from the Lebanese American University. She's currently the owner of Pragma, so that means you're rich, we can ask you for funding. <laughs> okay. A scientific research and training company based in Lebanon and extending its services globally. After graduation, Dr. Atapa held the position of a chief pharmacist in the World Health Organization WHO in the Beirut office. She supervised and directed a number of projects for, for the Ministry of Health and also supervised training programs for national laboratory on laboratory management. Dr. Tabba was also assigned by the WHO as the director of the Quarantina Drug Distribution Center in Beirut, which is a center established by the Ministry of Health to provide free of charge expensive drugs to uninsured patients suffering from cancer and other chronic diseases. At a later stage, Dr. Atapa established a pharmacy in Beirut where she served as a community pharmacist for over six years. Dr. Atapa is a strong supporter of the Children's Cancer Center in Lebanon, where she served as a volunteer for four years. Through her work, she has been involved in the analysis and manuscript writing of different research projects. Moreover, as a clinical pharmacist, she has contributed in different workshops carried out at the national and regional level, delivering sessions on different aspects of the conduct of clinical research. Dr. Atapa, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. To begin with, I want to thank uh, Dr. Bilal for this introduction and uh, to thank him for giving me this opportunity to stand again on the stage uh, uh, for the second time. Uh, I was a student like you here. Uh, it reminded me of my old days. And today, my, my daughter is sitting here. But uh, I had instructions. Yes, she's a student. I had instructions not, never to declare her identity. <laughs> <laughs> or else, yeah. <laughs> or else, I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Dr. Hani Tamim. Uh, he's a friend of mine, and he introduced me uh, years ago to Dr. Bilal, and it was a pleasure all these uh, years working together. Uh, as as you know, this is my third lecture in uh, in uh, in the M MRVP uh, series of lectures. And uh, before me, uh, Dr. Aida Farha. Yes. Uh, Dr. Aida Farha introduced the concept of uh, literature uh, search. Uh, usually, I used to give these two lectures together, the literature review as well as the end note, because they are connected to each other. But this time, I'm giving this lecture alone. So allow me to give a little recap of Dr. Farha's, uh, uh, Aida Farha's uh, lecture in order to uh, connect them together. Today, I will talk about the research process cycle recap for two to three minutes. Uh, sources used in literature search, search engines, the PubMed, you've heard about that, sure, right? Anatomy of a scientific paper, bibliography versus citation versus the reference list. Uh, we always mistake these three uh, uh, terms together, so I'm going to explain the difference between each one of them as well as citation referencing, which is the core of my lecture today. Citation referencing and EndNote. Anyone uh, used EndNote before? Or anyone knows what's EndNote program? Referencing, manage, uh, reference management. If, if I don't raise my hand, I know. Oh. <laughs> OK. Uh, by the way, it's the, your first time with research. Nobody had uh, any encounter with papers, publications, no. They are all first year, no? Most yes. of them are sophomores. Yes. Okay, sophomores. Okay. So uh, you will like it. Actually, uh, my first year when I worked with research, it was hell. Now it's a piece of cake. 
And research is the basis of every, every advancement now, every uh, employment, everything, not only for academicians. If you want to go to another university, to apply to master school, to, to, uh, to, to a job, the first thing they're asking about is how many publications do you have, right? So it is a door uh, that you cannot uh, but go in. Uh, let us begin. As a recap, the research process cycle, as you know, it is, as we said, uh, it begins with a research question, the idea. For example, uh, I want to, to search about prostate cancer. What shall I do first? Shall I directly go and begin my research and put funds and, and money and uh, bring a team and directly go into analysis? No. I have to look at the literature what was published before, what has been uh, found before, right? Why is that? Why do I do that? This is... Do actually new research and not... Exactly, not to repeat, not to be repetitive. Uh, not, not to waste my time and my money and my funds and my energy in something that will be uh, obsolete. After I make the literature review, I go, I search for like uh, 200, uh, 200 articles, 300 articles, whatever. This collection of articles, I bring them and I analyze, okay? I read, I compare, I see where are the gaps. I compare my research question for what I'm looking for. If I find there's a petition, what shall I do? I will change my research question. If there's no repetition, maybe it will guide me to another idea, to a new idea. Maybe there is a gap no one has ever looked for. So I will improve my research question. But this collection of, uh, of articles or of, or of uh, resources that I found, what do we call it? The primary collection of these articles and, uh, and research, and, uh, which are either articles, books, whatever. No, the bibliography, okay? Uh, as I said, we have the reference list, the bibliography, and the citation. So this row... Uh, material or row a list of articles is called the bibliography. After I decide on my research question, as I uh, either I stick to it or I change it, whatever, I go now to putting the methodology for my research. What is the methodology that I'm going to uh, go for in order to answer my research question? Okay, I collect data, I analyze it, and I get results. After that, what shall I do with the results? Interpret them, okay? Interpretation. I interpret the results, uh, interpretation and comparison with other studies. This is the discussion part of a manuscript. Did you, did you uh, know the, the uh, do you know the sections of a manuscript? We will mention that now. Okay, the discussion is the part where we compare our study, our results with other results. Similar results, uh, studies uh, of different results, contradictory results, okay? And finally, I go to writing the paper. When I write the paper, shall I include all the references, the 200 references, the bibliography, all of it in my reference list? Which ones shall I include? The ones that I used in my writing, the ones that I used to compare, right? So remember that because I'm going to go uh, discuss that in details in the next slides. The sources for my uh, literature search can be books, can be conference material like what? Like an abstract, you know, an, you know what's an abstract? when you uh, do a study and uh, it's not published yet. So you write an abstract, which is a mini, uh, like a mini bio or a mini uh, summary about the study. And it includes sections about all the uh, stages of the, the project, okay? Uh, introduction and methodology, results, discussion and uh, conclusion, sorry. Uh, results and conclusion. Uh, usually they go to uh, conferences and they take the abstract, they put it and they discuss the study even before it's published. So uh, we can take results from these uh, abstracts and include them as references. Uh, internet. Can we open the internet and go to Google and take any reference and include it in our uh, paper? Why? Which, sorry, which references I can include and which I cannot? Sorry? 
Exactly. What does peer reviewed mean? Anybody here on this side? Exactly. What are scholarly people? <laughs> in the same field, right. Now, why is this good? What the, okay, so, so what? They reviewed, they reviewed it. It's, it becomes uh, uh, valued, it becomes authenticated. Yes, yes, because imagine uh, uh, any, any reference in the internet, we don't know its, its origin, right? So many, uh, many references uh, which are uh, taken through the internet are taken through Google scholarly, okay? Not Google. Don't ever take any reference from Google. They are, they, there may be misleading results, the, the, uh, not accurate results, and uh, usually journals don't count these references, okay? And you know that the references are, is a very important, the reference part is a very important part in acceptance of a, of a paper into a journal. We'll talk about that also. Uh, anyone have a question about that? Okay. Electronic databases. What are electronic databases? What are uh, not e-libraries, e okay? Like Antoine Library, Antoine Library is a physical library. Electronic databases are electronic libraries, okay? How many electronic libraries do we have? <laughs> Only one? Many. How are they? Okay. Uh, different search engines, and we call them search engines. Okay, search engines uh, contain these libraries. Different search engines that might be used to locate relevant material are these. And what's the difference between each one of these? The topics, okay? For example, uh, psych info about psychology, for studies in psychology. Cochrane about systematic reviews. Anyone heard of that? Systematic reviews. PubMed is the most general one about sciences, health sciences, uh, medical sciences. We have the CINAHL. Any nurses here? Yes. For nursing, you'll use that. Okay, right? Okay, so uh, each, uh, each search engine or uh, uh, library, electronic library deals with a certain topic. Okay? Next. After we uh, make our research, as I said, we will have this big list, which is the bibliography. bibliography. Okay? Don't forget that. We'll discuss, we will compare uh, each one of them together. Writing your paper, when you write your paper, you are not allowed to copy. You know that, right? So, this poor guy... Um, what do you mean all my facts are wrong? I copied everything straight off the internet and he got an F. Okay, so never copy plagiarism. I think all of you uh, took the plagiarism test when you, when you came. Okay, so really, really don't copy. Uh, you have to cite your sources. What's the meaning of citing or citation? Yes, but what is a citation? Uh, it's a, a, a way to cite it with them. If you have APA style, then APA style. Right, no, this is the style. Cita uh, citation is the, 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 the reference itself. It is a citation, okay? And you cite it. The verb is citing it, okay? And uh, the noun is citation. But there is a difference. You'll tell me, okay, citation or reference, what do we call it? What's the difference? We'll see now, and this is important. What are citations? Sorry? Give credit. Give credit. Ah, okay, right. Uh, where do we plug in our citations in the paper? The citations. We'll see. Let us first begin with an anatomy of a scientific paper. This is a very simple paper. Imagine the, sub the topic, are all apples red? Okay. The abstract... This is an abstract. The abstract, they are uh, telling us a mini uh, story about the whole story. We examined several apples, colors. Although most are red, some are not. Very difficult. The introduction, an, an age-old uh, question is, are all apples red? What's this? McLean Touch uh, 1993. This is the citation. So a reference embedded inside the, the body of the paper is a citation. 
where the, uh, does it, the same reference or the same, where does it become a reference when it goes in the reference list? Okay? Let us go to a serious paper where we have, these are the sections of the paper or the anatomy. Uh, this is the title. I cannot see it. This is the abstract, okay? The abstract, the introduction in yellow, okay? Uh, we have the methodology, the results, conclusions, and last but not least, the reference uh, list, okay? Any question? So, our lecture today will deal with managing this reference list. So, we, we, we began with a very big list, the bibliography, and it shrink, shrink, shrink to the reference list. These references listed here are all used in the paper? Sure, sure. You cannot put any reference in the reference list unless it's used in the paper. And you cannot omit or forget any citation. Let us now use the right words. When I say citation, it means what? It's inside the body of the paper, okay? Uh, why are we having two... Uh, salt water? Hello? Okay. Uh, why do we have two uh, versions for the reference? Yeah, like uh, why we are repeating it twice inside the text and as a list? What is the use of the list? خلاص, I have it inside the text. Exactly. Here, I know that it is, for example, Kafarani 2001, but I don't have any, if I want to go back to this citation, how shall I find it? Where is it? In which journal? What? Uh, okay. So the reference is an explanation, an extra explanation of the uh, citation which is inside the topic. And the number of citations in the body must be surely equal to the number of res references in the list. Okay. Let us move forward to comparing as a summary, bibliography versus citation versus reference list. I will go over them quickly. A bibliography, as I said, lists all the material you have reta retained, sorry, it's a typo, preparing your essay or your, uh, or your topic, whether or not you have actually referred to and cited the work. Uh, mostly, uh, we use 200 uh, references, and then we end up, we, we retrieve 200 references, and we end up with 40, right, doctor? So it is normal to have a very big list, uh, bibliography list. Uh, citation, it is also called sometimes the work cited, okay? In the work cited, you only list the items you have actually referred to, okay? In the paper, this is an example. Canadians can celebrate that smoking rates have dropped dramatically in Canada in the past three decades. The citation is Reuter, uh, 2001, okay? And the reference list. It is the list of articles, books, etc., whatever, listed at the end of the paper and which are included within the body of the document. Okay? The references are a section by themselves. The reference list is a section from the, uh, of the manuscript. And it is uh, at the end of the manuscript. This is a reference. What type of, of reference is this? Book, article, what is it? Exactly, website. Can I include any website? Unless it's reliable, like CDC, like um, FDA, okay? Uh, some, uh, I, I teach uh, nursing at the nursing school in Red Cross and I asked for a project. Uh, one student uh, gave me a reference list. Number one, Google. Number two, Yahoo, <laughs> like that, <laughs> okay. Uh, the reference, in the reference list, like, like here. What are the uh, sections of a reference, not sections, the elements of a, a reference? Okay, let us see. Um, the first name, what is this? The author's name, okay? Okay, uh, if we have one author, we write his name. Usually they write the first name uh, like M dot, and then they write the family name. If we have two authors, and. we write them M. If we have three or more, et al. Et al okay, now we'll see an example, et al. So as not to uh, have a very big list, okay? This is the publication year, okay? Guys, 
This is what the publication year. Okay? The chapter title. This is the title. So this is a book. Okay? This is the title of the book. These are the exact pages where the, the reference was taken or the, uh, the, or the, the, the paragraph or the whatever, the idea. Okay? By the way, uh, what can we take uh, references, yani like ideas or what, or numbers or pictures? We can take all, right? So not only uh, ideas. Okay, so, uh, sorry. Okay, uh, publication city and name of the publisher. This is very important. Come in, why? No, not outdated because uh, the more the publisher is important, the, the higher the value of the book, right? <coughs> okay, uh, for example, the United Nations publishes books. Imagine uh, you, you using a reference from the United Nations book. This is very important. It will give way to your paper. Okay. Now to our uh, main topic, which is citation and referencing. Why do we do all this mass and citation and referencing and lists and bibliography? Why? To avoid. And, and what's plagiarism? Stealing or acknowledging something that's not yours as if it's yours, right? Ideas, uh, results, uh, methodology, whatever. Okay, there's something called intellectual property. Okay, also in ideas, it's called uh, plagiarism if we steal it. Another reason why do we cite or reference? To validate the statements by providing evidence. For example, Dr. Bilal is a very uh, uh, good researcher. And he has a very good track in research. And I am publishing a paper. And he's very well known. And I use his references or papers as a reference to my paper. This gives uh, a validity and this gives the reliability to my paper. Right? I'm referring to someone. For example, someone comes to you and tells you, uh, they told me tomorrow there's no uh, university. The first thing you tell him, who told you that? So? If someone reliable, then you will believe him and you will say, okay, there's no university. If he's not reliable, you will be shaky, okay? Uh, a third reason is that to show that you have researched your topic because if you don't have this list of references, it means you, you could have only uh, taken it from a paper and just copied it and presented it and published it, right? Any questions? Provide easy access to resources used. When we uh, collected our bibliography list of papers, what did we do? Each paper also, we looked at the references which are used in it. And when there is a good reference, we know where to go and to fetch it, like I said, in which journal, in which search engine. OK? Are you OK? Did you have lunch? <laughs> Anyone is sleeping? Bear with me. <laughs> So, the citation manager, which is EndNote, which the one I'm going to talk about now, is a commercial reference management software. Commercial, and you can buy it from anywhere. It is a software, BCD. It needs two minutes to be downloaded. But uh, you have to pay for it. Uh, don't uh, put the crack version at all. And it's used to manage bibliographies, references, when writing essays and articles. What do we mean by managing? <coughs> no. Managing, I'll go into that. Organizing them into libraries, uh, using them, uh, formatting them inside the, uh, the article that I'm using, building up certain reference lists. We'll see that, OK? So this is the main uh, uh, value of uh, the citati citation managers. EndNote allows us, us to run searches via direct connection to a database. Yani, 
what did we say in the beginning? And we go to the PubMed, we search for our uh, references, okay? After we find our references, you think you know, we have to go to the end note or to a library uh, or to an Excel sheet to jot down all our references, right? The end note helps me to search for my references from one place and from the same place, which is end note, arrange my references and use them. Answer, understood? Any questions? Okay. By storing the citations in the end note, we are able to automatically insert them in my paper. Now I will do an online demonstration and you'll understand everything, okay? And in one click, you can uh, take the reference from the search engine into the library and not into your paper. Why is this important? I can use an Excel sheet. I can bring all my reference list, put it in an Excel sheet and count number one in this sentence. It's number one in the Excel sheet. Number two in another sentence and number, number two. Why is it difficult? Why it's not applicable? Did you understand my question? Hmm? Okay, in a paper, as we said, we cite while we go. Yani as we write a sentence, we put the reference number one, right? Another sentence, we put number two. And the list goes on. And in the reference list, number one corresponds to number one. Number two corresponds to number two. But it's easy in Excel. I can do it. I can? Why not? Sorry? Why? Khalas, you're writing them once, so khalas. No. The reason is that when we write the paper, when we write the paper, okay, do you think that we write it and khalas, it goes to the, uh, to the journal and it's published? What are the stages that the, the paper goes through? Ma bidi balish be paper, be project with your doctor, with Dr. Bilal. He has to go to correct it. And if, and if he changes some paragraphs, he deletes some paragraphs, what will change? The order of the references in the list. Got the idea? So if he deletes a paragraph having a, a, a reference number three and four, so number one will be, number five will become three and number six will become four. Can you imagine every single correction? And after Dr. Bilal, he, he uh, uh, sends it back to me. I have to rewrite it and I have to go through all the process. And after that, we will send it to the journal. The journal probably, probably will make changes. So there is a very big problem in that. End note, what does end note do? If I told you now the problem, how can you imagine the solution that end note provided? إذا أنا عندي المشكل إنه every time I remove a, 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 يعني imagine you have a list from one to ten for uh, of references I remove one so the number will change automatically let us see how okay now we're gonna uh, this is the hands-on briefing that I'm gonna go online now we're gonna create a new endnote library we call it endnote library why do we call it library because we're collecting in it all the references that we are gonna insert in our paper, right? Okay, we're gonna um, uh, have a general orientation about the uh, screen of the endnote. We'll create groups, we'll add references uh, manually and online. You can edit, what, do, what did I mean by manually and online? Online from where? If I'm opening the endnote, how can I add references online from where? not websites, the, the search engines, right? I have two ways. Either I can go to the PubMed, I open it, I take the reference. Okay, I like this reference. How shall I take it to, to, to EndNote? It's very difficult. So through EndNote, I, I enter PubMed, okay? You'll see now how. Uh, choosing a bibliographic style in EndNote. Let me try uh, to see if you try to guess. What does it mean, bibliographic style? Bibliography, يعني, the list of references. Style. We'll talk about that, right? Um, uh, using EndNote with Word. Because where do we 
uh, write our uh, article or paper on a Word document, right? And where will the reference list come at the end? So what do I need? A connection between the end note where I have my references. How shall I uh, transfer them to my uh, Word? Okay. And creating a quick bibliography, your own bibliography. We'll talk about that. Inshallah, you'll have everyone uh, hundreds of references uh, of publications. Imagine you're applying to a job and they ask you, please, where is the list of your publications? Imagine, imagine us writing them uh, by hand. Okay. <clears throat> Traveling, uh, I will talk about that after we finish the demonstration. Uh, yeah. Yes, sure, sure. I will go online now. You want this? Okay, thank you. I just want to uh, comment a little bit about uh, what Dr. Samad has said. What you will see right now is that the end note is the most powerful library tool you could ever build. <coughs> and when you are writing any project, when you are writing any paper, when you are writing a paper having five references or having 500 references, you need this program. It's so powerful, it is so beautiful, it is so easy to use. What she is going to show you right now when she builds the program, here, she's writing a paper, we're going to have like 10 references. You choose to move the paragraph from one place to another place. After you wrote it, you saw that this paragraph doesn't sit there. You need to move it up or down. You just move it up, the references by themselves, they will renumber themselves, the end of you cite the reference, let's say, you know, of, uh, I don't know what, uh, some Simon Jones. And then after two pages, you cite the same reference. You don't need to go and check where is the number of Simon Jones. By itself, the program will number. She mentioned about uh, there are different bibliographic uh, styles. styles. Yes. You see, you submit a paper, let's say, to American Chemical Society. There is a certain style how the reference will show up. If you submit it to the Royal Society of Chemistry, it's a total reference. Totally different uh, um, uh, style. style of, uh, of uh, uh, presenting. If you submit it to a journal, it's totally different. If you submit it to a psychology journal, it's totally You'll different. see it now. And you will see that right now, how the style will be different. What is so beautiful is that when you are having this endnote library, all you need to do is to, to choose something called style output. You just click, and then automatically, if you have 1,000 references, the 1,000 references will be changed automatically to the new. So as soon as you build that endnote library, you can do anything. And that is the most important thing to do before you even start writing one line in your English paper or in your research project. This is going to make much more sense to you right now as she shows you how we use EndNote. Okay. Yes. Okay, to begin with, as I, as I said, you'll go home, you'll go to a computer IT or shop, and you'll buy the CD, which is the program. Yes. I think uh, AUB has a free yes, uh, copy. Yes, in the library. In the library, so you can download it from the AUB library. And, and you don't it. need to buy it. Right. Okay, uh, after you download it, you'll have on your desktop an icon, which is EndNote X7. There are many versions. Uh, you click on the icon, double click, and you'll have this screen. Now I want to make a new library. For example, I'm working on two papers or two projects, one about diabetes and one about hypertension. So for each topic, I'm making a different search, right? The papers of diabetes are different from the references of, of uh, um, hypertension. So for each one, I can make a library like that. File, new, and sh what shall I call it? Diabetes, OK? Yes, sure. Uh, and I will put it on the, and I will save it on the desktop, OK? And every time, this is my library. If I close it, I'll, I'll find its icon on the desktop. I, uh, I cl double click on it. Sometimes, like Dr. Bilal, he has five projects running together. So he has five libraries, right? And uh, this is an advanced stage. Uh, you can transfer references between libraries, OK? Cross-referencing. This 
is the main panel or main window of the uh, end node. This side is called the groups panel, okay? And I will uh, talk about that. This side is called the search panel, and this side is the uh, and the search and reference list panel, and this side is called the uh, reference panel, where we'll have the uh, full info about each reference. In order to connect, as I said, to uh, now we want to add references. Okay, how do we add references? As I said, by two ways. Either online, I go online and I extract references, or if I have the name of a reference, I can go manually. Let us begin with online. Uh, it's not, uh, oh, not connected. Okay. Meanwhile, let me tell you, this is the local library. Uh, shall I wait uh, to, for the connection? I'm, I'm going to try. Okay, this is when we, where we want to go to in the online search mode. And this is my local library, which means I connect here and I choose which search engine I want. Let me see, it's connecting to host. Okay, let me repeat. This is my library, okay? This is the earth library, my local library, okay? And this is the internet. So I connect these, what are these? These are the search engines and I have much more. For example, Psych Info, you remember? Cochrane, Sinal. I go here and I search for, the, uh, I choose which search engine I want. Because I always use PubMed, it's always here. I uh, cl double click on it. I think it's connected now. Let us see. I want to search. I have many search criteria. Yani, I can search by the uh, author name. I can search by, uh, if I have the PubMed ID. Uh, did you take about PubMed uh, last lecture? Yeah, yeah. Yes, we have for each reference an ID. So you write the name, if you have the ID but you don't know which reference or you lost its name. Let us begin with author, for example, and let us uh, say, uh, let us say Kafarani. Can we? <laughs> let us see. And we will click on search. Okay, so we have 139. Papers, okay. I uh, tab, okay one thirty nine. I want to see. I want to see each paper. I want to see. Uh, it may, it's not only uh, by author. Maybe I want by title or by topic. For example, okay, by mesh terms, uh, the ones that you took. Maybe I want abstracts. Only papers that have abstracts. But but for ease, هلا عم نعمل by name. Okay, we have one thirty nine uh, papers. I click okay. And what happens now? They're extracted. Okay, they're being downloaded. Where am I now? Well, online mode. I'm in the online mode, right? Okay, I'm in the online mode. It's, it's downloading. Shall I, I shall wait. Where's the number? Hon, 139. So I'm done. كلهم عندي online. ما نزلوا عندي they are online. I'm seeing them online, okay? If I want to choose one of them, I can click on it, okay? Or not choose, to test one of them. I click on it, I double click, I can see the info here. The full info of the paper, okay? And what type of info I have? Look, who are the authors, the year, the title? Some papers, they have the abstract. So shall I, by the way, I, I forgot to ask you. In the bibliography, I retrieved 200 papers did I read the 200 papers, all of them by detail to know if I need the paper or not? What did I read? How do I scan? Sometimes the title, but the title is sometimes misleading. The abstract. The conclusion, but also sometimes I care for a certain methodology. I want to make a paper with, uh, which is comparable to the methodology I'm using, right? Are you with me? Okay, so uh, the abstract is the most important part of the paper which can uh, let me decide if it's a useful paper or it's not useful, okay? If I want to exit the screen, I just click here. I want this, this, and this. I, 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 I press control and I chose these three papers. I want them 
to be saved in my library because this is online. When I uh, exit it, they will go. So what I do, uh, right click, copy. Okay, Sabaya. Right click, copy, and I go to my local library. Right click, paste. And now I have them, right? Agree? Yes. Type. Uh, and I want another search. Let me go to the, uh, let me say, for example, I'll tell you uh, in a moment why. For example, Rajab. Rajab is a pediatrician, okay? Uh, let me search. Sorry. Why didn't take, Lema uh, Zabat, why? Maybe I got disconnected. So I have to choose again PubMed, okay? I have to connect again. Right, Rajab, and you see, now it, uh, it's searching, okay? How many <laughs> papers for Rajab? 1,844. Are they all for the first uh, same doctor? No, because we have many Rajab. Just for ease, I'm putting that now, okay? We'll put, okay, and we, they will uh, download now. Meanwhile, I'm, download, I'm downloading them on a purpose. I have the third option, which is it, it integration between the two. Yani, if I go here, now look, uh, the online reference is increasing. How many articles I have in my uh, local library? I don't know. I have to go here. But in this button, it includes both. Look. Okay? In this button, it includes both. I got disconnected. No. Okay. It's, I got disconnected, sorry. Okay, let, let me repeat. So we have these three icons. The one with the books, what is it? Our local library. The one with the earth, the internet, it's online only. Okay? Uh, uh, I don't want to mix between both, therefore they have two icons. Sometimes I don't want to go from this icon to the other. So. The, we have the integrated icon, which is, it shows me, online, the online ones and my uh, library, how many are saved in my library. Fine? Okay. Uh, what about if in my topic, I'm um, talking about diabetes, and in the objective of my study, I'm studying the uh, incidence of diabetes, and I'm studying the um, success of uh, diabetes treatment. So... I have two points I'm looking for, and each point has different references, sa? Huh? Are you with me? So, if all of these references are also in one column, how shall I know that this one is for the incidence and this one is for the, for the treatment success? What shall I do inside the same library? In your closet, you have all your clothes at the same uh, shelf? No. They are all in one closet, but they are divided. How? Try to guess. How shall I do that? Yani, uh, logically, what shall I do? Group them. Okay. So, I look at this icon, which is my group. What shall I do? I create groups. We have the custom groups, which are the normal groups, and we have the smart groups. And this is new. From version X5, it's new. We'll talk about that. Let us go to a normal group and search. We have this much of articles and they will download, right? Okay. How many? I can see here online references, they're downloading. I notice now okay. it's taking Tamim, it's taking Tamimi. Right. So it's taking anything that has Tamimi. This is not an accurate search, by the way. You can uh, combine. Did you take the Boolean operators in last session? Okay, so this is and or. Just for demonstration now. You can put Tamim and you can put the which year and even what topic, right? But uh, I'll tell you in a while why I'm doing that. Because when I make groupings, okay, my group. Create a group. Uh, let me call it, for example, um, uh, diabetes, okay? This is the normal group, okay? 
so I go to my references. I can take one, this one, for example, and I want to put it in the diabetes group. Cut and paste, okay? This is cut, okay, and I go to the diabetes group and I paste it, right? Mm, okay, okay. So, and the end result, look, if I want to make some statistics for my library, okay, uh, all in all, I have three articles. Uh, unfiled, the general, are two, and uh, I threw uh, one in trash, uh, and here I have uh, two and uh, one diabetes, okay, three, right? Uh, let me see, okay, 720. Uh, what is the smart grouping? Let us go back. The smart grouping is, if I choose a smart group, okay? Let me call it blood, right? Why? Because now I want to know, uh, I want all the papers for Dr. Tamim which are on blood, which talk about blood or which have, here I can decide, in their title, for example, blood, okay? What will happen now when I create this group and then I make search? Try to guess. It's okay. I created the group, the smart group, and I told it I want the title Ikunfi Balbu Blood. So, what will happen now when I make my search? Automatically, automatically, every uh, article uh, that's downloading will go to the group which is. Blood. Okay, let us see. When I add them, yani. Uh, now we have 1,100. For example, I want them all, okay? Or I want to extract from them the articles which I have the title, uh, in the title blood. Control A, okay? And cut, okay? I go to my library. Uh, I hope he has papers on blood. I <laughs> can't. Okay, and I go to all my references. I throw them in the library. I want you to watch this, this blood group. What will happen? And no, they are being put here, but the, the articles with the blood title are directly, automatically extracted. Okay, Yani, what I want to say, I have thousand articles and I have three groups, blood and, uh, and uh, for example, incidents, whatever, and I, I neonate. So I just plug them and automatically they are segregated. Is it clear? If I ask someone to come down and demonstrate, are you ready? <laughs> I will not ask my daughter. She's looking at me. Okay. <laughs> Time. Uh, now the manual, uh, <laughs> the manual uh, adding manually references. Okay, how can we add a reference manually? You look at this, you look at this icon, the plus, I click on it, okay? It is a very, very hard way because you have to fill most of these and imagine filling 100 articles, but some article, wh when do we use this uh, manual addition of articles? What doesn't have what? Maybe, or not all the articles are in indexed or, or not all the articles are in PubMed, right? So I search in PubMed and I know this, this is an article and it's not in PubMed to extract it. So I go, I, ah, before that, didn't we say that we have many types of articles? Okay, where is it here? Oh. Okay, uh, many types of uh, sources. What are the types of sources that we can uh, use, the references? Uh, so I choose from here. Imagine the types of references that I can include in my paper. Guys, I can include a blog. A kid, not from anyone, from a scientist. A book, a case, a catalog, dictionary, okay? Government document, all of these you can include. No, uh, uh, knowing that they are reliable, being sure of that. Report, even a web page. And if you, can, if you can notice, when we change each type, look what changes here, the fields, okay? 
because each one, for example, in music, we don't have uh, the HTTP, right? And the fields of a book are different from the fields of an article. So uh, be careful when you fill in this info, you are choosing this, uh, the right type of what? Of what? Of potatoes. <laughs> of reference, right? Wake up. Type. Uh, we added the reference and then we click uh, this. It's, it's saved. No, I didn't add anything. Okay, it's empty. Right? What if, uh, guys, what if I have a reference and I notice that there is something wrong in the reference? Who is in the PubMed and I'm a genius and I notice there's a mistake in it. I want to change it. What shall I do? I press on, the, on it. I double press or double click. I have the reference here, okay? And then what shall I do? Ah, they change, okay? Delete this, masalan. I don't want the number of pages. And I close it again, and I save it, okay? If you notice, this, this, uh, this area here, it is the reference listing, reference listing area, or how does the reference appear inside my uh, paper? These are the styles, okay? We have many styles. Different journals, when you publish papers, uh, are we on time, doctor? Or no, no, this now. Okay. Uh, different uh, journals ask for different styles. Uh, can you say, tell me what's the difference between one style and another? What do you mean different styles? How do you mean? If I have two references of different styles, what do you mean? What's the difference? Maybe the order of information, maybe what? Maybe, for this journal wants the name of the article in italics. The other one uh, doesn't want even the name of, uh, of the art, uh, article. Maybe it, it, it needs initials only. Okay, so the first thing, yeah, Sabaya or Sabib, when we want to publish in a journal, we have to look for the style. If we don't have the style here, because every year this is an online program, Every year it's updated. What shall I do? I will download the styles. Don't panic, I will show you. Okay? These are the styles. For example, I will go now to the word, to the real uh, fun. This is a text, a sample text. Okay? This is my paper. I wrote my paper and I have my references. No, I didn't write it. I'm writing it because what do we do? We cite while we write, okay? Every sentence you write, you have directly to put after it the reference. Agree? Yes. Okay. Uh, where, uh, where is the place where you are allowed not to put any reference in the paper? I said after each sentence, we have to put a reference. After each, each sentence, there are sentences you don't have to put. Which sentences? Sorry? No, بالعكس هيدول بدو known fact. From where did you bring the fact? Give me the reference. Your own. You're you're writing the paper. So every place where you're giving your point of view, where you think, where you write, we found. We found where. خلاص ما بتحط reference. You are the reference. Okay. طب another question. Can you reference yourself? Yani, if you have two papers, ya sabaya. If you have two papers, and you are writing a new paper, and you can use the results, can you reference yourself? Yes. But don't overdo it. <laughs> okay? Yani, in the same paper, don't just mention yourself and go back to yourself. Okay? Tab. I will wait for two minutes unless you calm down because this is the core and this is the cherry on top of the cake. <laughs> okay? This is a text. Information literacy is a set of abilities that support independence in the practice of identifying, assessing, evaluating, organizing, blah, 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 information. Okay, I need a reference here. So, how do I do it? I open my EndNote library. Okay? What is the reference or which one I want to choose? I want to choose this reference. Okay? I click on it, right? I minimize the library. Where do I want to put this? Okay, I want to put it after the word information. So what shall I do? 
Every time you open an EndNote library, you will see in the Word document here, it pops up an icon or a tab, a sub tab, whatever. It's EndNote X7, okay? If you don't see it, you have a problem. What does this mean? It means we have a connection. It means, you remember at the beginning of the session, I told you how can we connect them together? This is the connection. So I chose the, the, the reference, I chose it here, right? I minimize, I go where I want to put it, I go into insert, why not insert, no, sorry. End note, insert selected citation. Look what will happen. Magic, ta 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 ta, I have number one. And down, a list is created. Reference list is created. Change the style. Yes, yes, I will show them. Okay. Look at the reference right now. Okay. Let me, let me add two, three references. Okay. Let me add the Hatay Bayim Makon. Okay. Can I add two references together? It has two references. Yes, I can. For example, this one and this one. Okay. What shall I do now? Go back. I want to put them here, right? Type. Insert selected citation. Two and three. One more. So insert citation. Now we'll play a game. So Sarana, look. Number one. So citation number one. Okay. Ehfazu al Durzi. Okay. Number two is Fawaz. What shall I do? I will take this. Okay. Ah, uh, the style, okay. Notice here that number two was from Waz. Okay? And then at the last sentence, you chose the same reference again. Automatically, it took number two. Yes. Okay? Now, she's going to move the stuff around. And uh, actually, if you do it this way, yes. let them see it together. What's this style first? What is the style of this reference list? So you see, this is the Journal of Organic Chemistry. Okay. Now... You can change it to having something annotated. Actually, annotated. Oh yeah. yes, annotated. Look what will happen uh, automatically. Update. Uh, yes. Oh, annotated. They man be kun bedon the reference. Fi journals bedon the reference ma al abstract taba. Okay. okay. Numbered, for example. Hal actor shi Vancouver. Have you heard about Vancouver? There are thousands of different styles. And so every year, just, and you can take them from here. So here, yes, you can just say select another style, and then it will take you here. Exactly. And uh, more than that, you can download new styles, okay, from the internet. Every year they uh, so make. So, for instance, this is a medicine one. Right. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So now change. Okay. Let us change the order. Sure. Okay, the MLA and the APA, what are these? These are two general categories. Sometimes uh, 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 you are asked to write a paper with MLA. These are, the MLA is used for the humanities and liberal sciences, okay? While the APA, the APA for sciences, not humanities and liberal sciences, uh, 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 history, geography, Hadolikilon MLA style. What is it? It is a way of naming things. For example, the APA, the reference list, what, they are, what do they call it? Reference list. Bil MLA, what is the reference list called? Works cited. This is it. And no bas Another thing, if you notice first, the references, they were one, two, three between the reference list. Sah. Okay. Different style. Oh. Different. Uh, for example, numbered, uh, sometimes in brackets. You see? Okay. Okay. Let us uh, ah, show all fields. It shows all the fields of the reference. Now, if we're going to change, look again. Uh, Al Durzi and Fawaz. If we're going to change the order, I, I take, wait, I take the sentence with the reference. Okay. Okay. I cut it. I want to move it, okay? I will move the sentence up. I put it the first, okay? Look what happened. Look at the order. Fawaz Irani, okay? Even if I delete a sentence, badal four be zero three. Let us change again, masalan. Number one, you have it. Number four? Number four. 
اوكي اي ويل تيك نمبر 4 اب اب اجين مثلا كمان طلعوا شو حيصير اب تميمي فواز اوكي سو اتس وندرفول يو كان فورجيت اباوت ذا ريفرنس ليست يو كان تشينج از ماتش از يو وونت اند ات ويل بي ايزي فور يو اوكي جاست ون مور ثينك اور ليكتشر بات في شي اه دكتور بلال يو تولد ام اباوت ذا هاو تو تو داونلود ستايلز انذر ثينك وي هاف انسايد ذا لايبرري فور ايتش ماجازين Uh, there is a template for the manuscript, okay? Some of them write the results before the methodology. Some of them combine the methodology and the results together, okay? So here also tools you can find uh, libraries, uh, manuscript templates, look. Different templates for different manuscripts. Masalan, American Meteorological Society or Sociology, okay? You open it. Oh, word cannot because... Oh. Okay, don't save. Um, what did we say? Mm. Manuscript template. Okay, annals of clinical micro, uh, whatever. It's opening. It's very slow. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay, this is the template, right? Look at it. You can use it in order to fill in the paper while you're writing it. I don't know what happened. It disappeared. But uh, uh, download the PDF file and show them how you attach. I, I just want to show them how to make the list for their publications also. For example, all of these are your publications, right? And you want to apply for a job, okay? Let me close this. Okay. And you want to apply for a job? Let me open another word. Okay. And they ask you for the list of your uh, publications like Dr. Bilal. He will spend 10 days just writing them down. No. You just select all your publications. You download them from the uh, internet. You uh, choose copy formatted. You go to a word. You write uh, reference and then you Okay, I paste it. And this is the, the style. Uh, change the style. Yes, I will change it. Look, wait, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, journal of organic, where is it? Okay. Okay, and you see, now the style will change. Update citation and bibliography, I will do. Yeah, mm. just show them how you can, uh, you see when you have, you have this library and you have the PDF file of the entire thing and you don't want to save them in a different place. You want the PDF files of your papers to be in your EndNote library. And you can, you can do that very beautifully on EndNote. Dr. Bilal is searching for, uh, I'm going double search, okay, bullying operators. Kafarani and Carbazol. He has a paper about Carbazol. Okay. Can you imagine with every change from your supervisor, you, you go home and you change the number of references each time? It's crazy. If you style is more name and year, style is more name and year. So uh, you, cho you choose it, but tell me like example, name and year, okay? A uh, fee citation. Uh, of course, Smao, this is a very important question. Ma fi style, or ma fi, ma fi paper, ino bikun fi citation inside the paper, u ma fi manna mawjoud bil reference, abadan. Bikun fi shi galat, okay? Uh, another thing you asked me, ino, um, so what I want to do, any reference right now, it doesn't matter. So I can just make a new reference myself. It's, it's, uh, the internet is very slow. Yes, it's a highly problem. Internet. That's fine. So let's say this is a reference right here. Okay. And you have the PDF file of this reference. And you want to insert it. All you do is you go here. And you attach. And you have the file somewhere. Uh, 
I put the PDF file here. So this is, for instance, just if you don't mind. Hello, hello, Zewbak. So this is a paper. I open the reference. Let's say that this reference is for that. And then all I do is I say, OK. And then I close it right here. I say, yes. First, you notice that there is already a cache next to it. Now, if you click on this reference, now you have everything. Uh, of course, the paper is not. This is answer to your question. OK, and then you go down. And here is a PDF file. This is what page. you said. He, I was asking this question. Oh, OK. The and original. click on it, and here it is. OK. By the way, this is a recent review article for me, and I chose AUB as a background, and wow. it was on the cover. <laughs> oh, that's my longest paper, 32 papers. But uh, the, the beautiful thing about having this is that you have all the references, all the PDF files, and you have all your references in the same place. So you can do anything. My advice to you, don't you ever start working on anything without having your EndNote library. And she said that how many EndNote library, I have. every time I am writing a paper, I am writing a grant, I start a new EndNote library. There's another thing. Uh, the travel library. The travel library. One word best. For example, your Go friend, ahead. okay. Uh, Dr. Bilal has papers with colleagues in different countries, in America, in London. Do they have to meet every time on the same laptop to work with a paper? He, he, makes, uh, he uh, retrieves articles and his friend retrieves another article. So there is something called the traveling library. Okay. Uh, okay, one minute. The traveling library is they can open it, middle Dropbox, you know the Dropbox? So each one he has his password and he can open it and at, at his uh, location and Every time he adds articles or whatever changes he does, okay? Uh, it's for group projects, for collaboration, to increase collaboration. And how does it work? You export a library and you email it. You can, you can email it or you can, uh, like Dropbox, work at your location and the change will be automatic. In the morning, Dr. Bilal worked with it. At night, I, I open it, I find the change. Uh, it, it gets even better. Yes. Somebody is sending you a document and you have references in that and these references were in EndNote. All you do is just you go to EndNote and you say export traveling library. Exactly. And then you create a new library in one click. So all the references, if there are 200 references in that paper, you click. Now you build your own library from that paper. For example. It's so powerful. You really need to start using it. Yes. As of now. It will make your life much easier for the rest of your life, as long as you are doing this. I'm going home and I will download it on my daughter's uh, laptop. <laughs> okay, this is the export and import. The file, you can export these to another library or you can import two or three uh, references from the other library. Thank you so much for your patience. Any questions? It was a pleasure. Thank you, Dr. Bilal. ما بقى عندكم حجة every year بتكون طلعوا 20 papers Thank you so much I wish إن شاء الله تكانت حلوة Okay